The Mac Mini is a fantastic piece of technology baked into a small form factor. However, it doesn't come without the shortcomings. So in this video, I want to show you some good accessories that you can buy to take full advantage of this powerful machine. One of the things that you might come to know when buying the Mac Mini M1 is how expensive it can get when you add storage to it. For example, the base model costs around $700, but if you choose the 1TB internal storage, you have to pay an extra $400 and $800 if you choose the 2TB version. Thankfully, this machine comes with the Thunderbolt and the USB 4, which are pretty fast, allowing data transfers up to 40 gigabytes per second. Without getting too much technical here, this means that you can utilize external storage and get very fast speeds. So this is exactly what I did. I have chosen the Mac Mini base model with only 256 GB internal storage and decided to buy a 2TB external SSD as I can use with my Mac at home and I can take with me when I'm on the go. After researching a lot which SSD to get, I found out that the Samsung ones are a really good choice when it comes to cost and benefits. There are a few good options like the T5 for around 100 bucks for 1TB and around $200 for the 2TB version. That's one fourth of the price when comparing to how much Apple charges for the additional storage. So I have chosen the T7 as this can reach higher write and read speeds. In simple terms, they are a bit faster, however a bit more expensive as well. This 2TB version that I've chosen was around $350 at the time that I've bought it. Both the T5 and T7 are a perfect choice for an external drive. The body is made of aluminum and the drive feels very sturdy. It is also very slim and very compact, fitting easily in any pocket and anywhere in the backpack. In terms of performance, these drives are pretty fast. The T5 can reach around 540 MB read and write speeds, while the T7 can reach up to 1000 MB read and write speeds. In real life, during synthetic benchmark tests, my T7 always reached around 650 MB per second, and I saw some reviews in the internet showing it reaching up around 800 MB per second. So I wouldn't say that it's truly double speed over the T5, but it's something to consider when deciding between the T5 and the T7. So in summary, if you want to get good and fast storage and don't want to pay the extra $800 that Apple charges, then the external solid state drives like the Samsung ones are good options for you, as you can get very good fast storage and save some money in the process. Now moving on to other accessories. As any desktop machine, it is usual that we will start to hook up some USB devices and accessories into our Macs. Another shortcoming of the Mac Mini M1 is the limited amount of USB ports. This machine comes with only two Thunderbolts and two USB ports. So an option to solve this limitation with connectivity is to get a USB hub like the one that I have here or a Thunderbolt hub, which will give you much more options in terms of connectivity. I have done some research and I found out that although a little bit more expensive, the Thunderbolt hubs are a good options for the Mac Mini, as it provides responsibility without compromising the bandwidth and speeds. Since these days we are usually working from home, I end up having connected to my Mac Mini many devices, such as cameras, speakers, microphone, external drives, so I had to choose something that would fit my needs. I decided to go with the HP Thunderbolt dock, as it has plenty of ports, plus it comes with the audio module, which is perfect for my work calls. The unit is very compact and sleek, made in mate black finish, it feels very good build quality and it blends very well on my desk. It has three USB ports two USB-C ports and one additional Thunderbolt port. This dock is also capable of connecting two displays via DisplayPort or the old VGA connection. It has even Ethernet port, however I believe this would be more useful for people connecting this dock to a notebook. Moving on to another essential accessory for the Mac Mini, the camera. So I did some research and I found out that some manufacturers like Sony, Canon, Panasonic, they are providing updates to their cameras, allowing them to be utilized as a webcam for your computer. I had picked up the Sony ZV-1 as my camera of choice. The camera is very compact and light. It has a great build quality and provides a very good flexibility to connect to my Mac Mini via USB port and utilize it as a webcam. It's just plug and play and it works. The image quality that comes out of this camera is very good, as it has 1.8 aperture and it can provide a very good depth of field. In simple terms, a blurred background which people associate with a cinematic look. So we've spoken about some of the must-have accessories for the Mac Mini and how you can overcome some of the limitations when it comes to connectivity and storage. 
If you would like to know more about the Mac Mini M1, you can watch my other video up here or follow in the link in the description. So that's been it, I hope this video was helpful for you and if you like, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I see you in the next one.